what's up beautiful family how are you guys doing today i hope you all are doing great i hope you all are doing great where you are because i am also doing great here um in the motherland now in today's video i'm going to be telling you the reason why some of our brothers and sisters from the diaspora might find africa frustrating when they get here and um, this this is just based on two things the just two things that will make you find africa frustrating or let me just see you'll be frustrated when you get here and that's what i'm going to, i'm going to be talking about here today but if you're just visiting the channel for the first time please make sure you do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get updated whenever i put a new video and to also you know join the family now before i start i want you all to tell me the source of information that you rely on before coming to africa i want you all to tell me below in the comment section the second thing that i want you all to tell me is um how do you plan how good is your planning especially when it comes to the financial aspect how good is your financial aspect before coming to africa because those are the two main things that will make you to find africa frustrating one misinformation and two no good planning number one let us talk on the source of information where is your information or what is the source of your information concerning the motherland because why i think it is this, this is the first reason it is because you know some of our brothers and sisters who have come to the motherland and gotten stranded and frustrated mostly comes from the financial you know side all right they either gone out of cash or they were not prepared enough financially and this happens because of the information that were being given to them like maybe you just need a couple of dollars or maybe a thousand dollars can go a long way in these countries in africa which is not the case all right now i don't know where you're getting your source of information but you know you all need to pay attention to the kind of information you hear concerning the motherland because that is going to be your first guide your first guide into the continent and so you don't want to get wrote the wrong information concerning the motherland and that is why i am here even though I, I might not say i might have all the connections or maybe all the things to help the diaspora but if you feel like um you want to know some basic informations concerning africa concerning the motherland even though i might not you know be in the country that you want to go but one thing is for sure all the african countries we have similarities we are all the same in nearly 80 percent of the things in each and every african country especially you know what they call the sub-saharan africa so we have similarities we are the same so i am here you can ask me some basic things or maybe if you need help in some basic things you can ask me and i will be there to clarify you and i really hope that um, it's going to help you out because i don't want you all to get misinformation please Th that is the first thing secondly let us talk about the planning sector you need to plan very well you need to be financially stable very well before you move to the continent there is one thing you all need to understand africa is not cheap the motherland is not cheap depending on your source of information that's why i said i don't know where you might be getting your source of information but one thing i know is that most of our brothers in the diaspora, they have told you all that Africa is very poor. Africa is, um, you know, maybe people are living in, in huts and stuff like that. You need to plan yourself. Do not do not take what they are telling you because Africa is not poor. If you come here without planning, you are going to be stranded or you will find Africa frustrating. This is very, very important. Now, there was a video on my channel where when i was talking about um some of the basic things that when you get to the motherland you must need it which of course um including the renting of house or maybe yes the, the renting of house because you need a house so that 
if you want to live in hotels and we and which i would not really recommend that you should go and live in hotels you should look for a place and you know uh, like a house even if it's a, a studio and you are good to go or an apartment depending on what you can afford which is cool so now in that video i talked about because there was a video i watched from our brother from kenya evans from kenya which um the video talked about how some youtubers are passing misinformation to you all that you can get house here in the in the motherland for 20 dollars <laughs> which of course is not i tried to explain it in that video so you can just go to my if, if you have not watched that video yet go to my channel and you will see you will find the video there all right you watch the video and get what i'm what i tried to say because this is something that you know i don't know where these people is saying these things i, I don't know where they are coming from with this now concerning the 20 dollar house like if you watch the video 20 dollars or uh, 40 dollars sorry 40 dollars if you convert 40 dollars into um cfa france which is the currency that cameroon is using and any other african country that falls under the CEMAC zone if you convert 40 dollars it will give you higher should be 20,000 or 24,000 francs cfa okay now with you having 24,000 francs cfa and you want to look for a house with that amount of money you can get a single room without no kitchen no toilet and the area in which the 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 room is going to be it might not be comfortable for you to be in that is it you are you are mostly going to find these um houses or this kind this type of houses in, in the rural areas or in, in, in the local you know quarters so that is why i suggest that the amount of money that you need to keep to pay a house per month depending on what type what kind of house that you want to to go in for be it is a studio that is um kitchen toilet parlor and a room that is a studio you can you know budget at least a hundred and fifty dollars to rent a studio for one month or let me just say a hundred dollars all right you can get a hundred dollars um I, i'm sure a hundred dollars can be 40 no not even a hundred dollars make it at least a hundred and thirty dollars if you want to go for 150 make it a hundred and thirty dollars i am saying this because i know what i am saying all right i know what i am saying so that's why i said if you all have any questions that you want to ask concerning some basic things like you know this housing and some other stuff that you might really want to know you can contact me or i am here for you that you you all can tell me and i'm going to explain to you guys stop um you guys should be very careful with the kind of information that you guys are getting because the last thing that i really want to happen is for our brothers and sisters to come to the motherland and get stranded or find africa frustrating this is the land of your ancestors and you have every right to be comfortable with the locals so these are the two things and this is the message i said let me pass across today in this video number one your the source of your information and number two the planning how you're going to plan yourself financially so that is what i said let me share with you guys today in this video so please if you just come to the channel I, I want to thank my returning um viewers who are always returning to watch my videos you guys i, I cannot you know i am where i am today because of you guys i really do appreciate your um your support on the channel so if you are just coming new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to um get notified whenever i drop a video and, and to also join the family now um this channel is having a patreon account just in case if anyone wants to support the channel you can do support the channel on my patreon account um patreon slash nelson leo tv you can do support the channel i really do appreciate you all so i'm going to be seeing you guys on my next video and have a nice day